Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you are receiving a black screen with a cursor on your screen after you've logged in to your computer. So basically, the pretense for this video is you might have signed in, you got through the welcome screen, login screen, and now all you have on your computer monitor is just a mouse on your computer and you might be able to move the mouse around but unfortunately it's not actually doing anything and you can't wait click anywhere so this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve this issue for you guys so I have made a tutorial of this nature in the past it garnered a good amount of attention but I did want to make another one I believe the last time I made it wasn't even narrated it might just have been text on the screen so I just wanted to make an updated one with narration just to update the one that I made a couple of years ago. So we're going to jump right into it. And like I said, assuming you're not able to click anywhere, I would recommend trying to restart your computer and just seeing if that can fix the issue as well. This issue basically stems from the Explorer executable not being able to load properly on your computer. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. So we are in the position that obviously you can see I, my cursor is on the screen, but there is nothing else that appears on here. So the first thing you want to do is tap on the control alt delete keys at the same time on your keyboard. So just quickly tap so using one hand hit the control alt and then the other hand use to tap the delete key. You want to do this all at the same time so control alt delete. Okay so once you're on this screen you want to left click on what says task manager right here. You should see a list of processes here. Now you want to left click on the file tab right here up at the top left right underneath task manager. You want to left click on that and then left click on run new task. Now using your keyboard you want to type in reg R E G edit E D I T. It should all be one word and then you want to tap inside this box where it says create this task with administrative privileges. So click inside there and then left click on this OK button at the bottom of that dialog window. So now that we are in the registry editor we're going to be doing some navigating. The first thing we are going to go under is H key local machine. You're going to left click on the little arrow next to it or double click on the folder. It doesn't really matter. All you want to do is get the drop down to appear underneath. And then once you've done that, you want to do the same thing that you did to get underneath H key local machine for the software folder. I'm going to expand that one as well. And I'm also going to expand the view of this column over a little bit so I can see where we're working a little bit better. And now you want to go down to where it says Microsoft. Expand that one as well. And then once you've done that, you want to go down to Windows NT should be near the bottom of the list right here expand that one as well and then you want to expand the current version folder right underneath should only be one folder more than likely underneath Windows NT so you want to expand that and then once you have done that I'm going to actually expand the comma a little bit more here so I can see a little bit better and I'm going to go down to win log on should be one word win log on right here and now I'm going to left click on the win log on folder once you have found this folder left click on it once and then on the right side here there should be something that says shell right here you can see that you don't even have to really scroll down but you can if you want to it should read shell you want to double click on this If there is anything other than explorer.exe in here, you want to type it in as it appears on my screen. So if there are some random letters or something, you want this value data to say explorer.exe. So for example, if it says something like this, you want to delete that, type explorer, explorer.exe. Just like you would spell Internet Explorer, except without the Internet part, of course. And then once you're done doing that, you're going to click on OK to save our changes. 
and now I would recommend closing out of the registry editor and I'm going to close out of task manager as well and now you want to tap on the control alt delete keys on your keyboard once again and now once you're back at the screen you want to go to the bottom right corner of it it should be a power icon that when you hover over it it should say shut down you want to left click on this button and then you want to left click on restart now it appears I do have some updates so it might take an additional moment to restart so I'm going to update and restart here
Okay, so now everything looks normal. So I'm just going to enter my computer password here just to show you guys everything is good. And there we go. We can see we got access to our desktop once again and everything looks to be as it should. So I should note a couple things. Number one, this is not going to work for everybody. Um, based on my previous video's reception, I would assume that it will work for most people. However, that's not to say it's going to work for every single person on this video, which is unfortunate, but that's just a fact of life. Some people's situations are a little bit different, as well as some people might not follow all the directions in the video exactly how they appear. I notice that happens very frequently as well, so you can't really blame me for that second and later part. But I do hope this tutorial helped you guys out. I showed the whole video. I didn't really try and edit out a lot of parts of it because I want people to understand that it does take time and you have to be patient. I'm sure many of you just jumped forward to this part of the video, which is fine. But I do like to show you guys how long it takes to fix these issues. They don't just magically get resolved in 30 seconds. I just was responding to comments today talking about how they were running System Restore and they've only been running it for 10 minutes. They want to know why it's taking so long. And that's the kind of attitude that I think is really wrong going into a problem like this. Um, there are quick fixes and there are fixes that take a little bit of time and this is probably one of those. So just keep that in mind when you're going into this. Now I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. Tell me what you think and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.